Today I have Apple Photos on iOS 18.1 on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, Google Photos on the Pixel 9 Pro XL, and Samsung Gallery on the S24 Ultra. I will compare the latest and the greatest AI features offered by each company in their native gallery apps to see which one is the best AI editing tool for your photos and videos. So without further ado, let's jump in. First things first, this comparison is focused on the latest AI features. I did another comparison between the same apps covering the rest of the editing tools back in July 2023 that you can find its link in the description below. Secondly, all apps are up to date and running on the latest stable software version available at the time of filming this video, except for the Pixel which is running the latest beta version of Android 15 as I use it in my other videos. Either way, it doesn't matter which OS version I use on the Pixel as far as Google Photos is up to date. When it comes to the point system, if the feature is available on all three phones, the one with the best outcome will take a point, the second place will take half a point, and zero points for the third. If it's only available on two phones, the winner will take a point and a half a point for the second place, and obviously, if it's only available on one phone, it will be the only one that takes the point. I will start the comparison with the transformative AI features or in other words, the features that transform your images into something else. The first comparison is to test which one is better in removing people and objects from photos. I will use Magic Editor on the Pixel, Photo Assist on the S24 Ultra, and the Cleanup on the iPhone. I will try three different photos before declaring a winner. In the first shot, I want to remove the short building at the front to see which one will better generate the missing part of the other building. It was fairly easy to do my selection on all three, but the main difference here is Google and Samsung use generative AI that requires cloud processing, while Apple uses on-device models. The older Magic Editor of Google Photos works locally on-device, same as Apple Photos, but I chose Magic Editor to compare the latest and the greatest features offered by each company, and here are the results. The first trial of the S24 Ultra is hilarious. I don't know why it decided to replace the building with this big black L, even though I chose to erase, not to replace. So I decided to give it another try, just in case the AI hallucinated in this incident but unfortunately it did the same once more. This time it added another random object and a tree. Yes, it generated a part of the back building in high quality without any artifacts, but I'm stuck with these unwanted items that I cannot get around, so it defeats the purpose. Moving to Apple Photos, it did what I asked for, but with low quality. There are a lot of smudges and artifacts in the building, plus it messed up a part that wasn't even covered in the first place so I don't think the outcome is usable. And lastly, Google Photos, which did the best here. It only messed up the lower part, which I can easily crop and get a high quality photo that I can share on social media. Plus, only Google Photos gives multiple options to choose from with the ability to regenerate unlimited number of photos if needed. So one point to Google Photos, and I will call it a draw between Samsung and the Apple with half a point each, as both generated unusable images. The second one is a portrait. I want to remove the wire and the guy setting in the background without impacting the blur effect, so let's see which one will do it better. In this scenario, Apple Photos did the best, it removed the person and the wire while keeping the same natural look of the image. In contrast, Google Photos and Samsung Gallery couldn't remove the person. I even tried to regenerate more results on the pixel but with no success. But overall it was slightly better than Samsung Gallery. So in this one, Apple Photos comes first with one point followed by Google Photos with half a point and no points to Samsung Gallery. The last photo in this category is to remove the people passing by to get a less distracting image. Apple Photos did the selection for me, which is nice, while Google Photos and Samsung Gallery require manual selection. It's worth noting that Google Photos does the same as Apple Photos in the older Magic Eraser feature, but not in Magic Editor, so it took me a long time to finish my selection on the Android phones, but let's take a look at the results. Starting with the left side of the image, Google Photos was the best as it generated a proper couch with cushions, which blends nicely with the overall look. Samsung Gallery and the Apple Photos are equally bad. Both removed the top part of the metal bar, even though it wasn't selected on any of them before taking the action, 
Plus they added some random objects to cover the missing part. Moving to the right side, Apple Photos was the worst. It did cut a part of the tree on the right even though it wasn't covered. It removed the ball head of the metal bar and added an unrecognizable item as a cover. Samsung Gallery was better than Apple Photos as it didn't mess up the tree like the iPhone and filled the missing part with something more convincing. But it also removed the metal bar same as Apple Photos. Google Photos had a smudge near the floor but other than this it was the most accurate as it didn't cut the metal bar like others and filled the gap nicely. So one point to Google Photos, half a point to Samsung Gallery and zero points to Apple Photos. Overall in this category Google Photos comes first with 2.5 points followed by Apple Photos with 1.5 points and 1 point to Samsung Gallery. Now let's compare the ability to reposition the subject which is something only available on Google Photos and Samsung Gallery and here's the first shot. I want to center and move myself further away from the camera so let's see which one will better handle the situation. With no doubt the win goes to Google Photos as it generated the missing part of my legs perfectly while Samsung Gallery made me look like a sticker. The second photo includes multiple subjects and this time I want to do the opposite by bringing everyone closer to the camera. At first I thought that Samsung Gallery did well but after looking at the floor I found these black shadows were left behind making the image look odd while Google Photos nailed it as expected. So quality wise Google Photos is the best but only Samsung Gallery allows me to rotate the selected item which is sometimes needed. So overall in this area I will give the win to Google Photos as the quality is the most important aspect in this feature and the ability to rotate the subject doesn't rectify the difference in quality so half a point to Samsung Gallery. The next feature is only available in Samsung Gallery which is the ability to replace anything or add extra items to your photo from your gallery. In this scenario I replaced myself with another me from a different photo. I can even put someone else if I want to so one point only to Samsung Gallery. In contrast Google Photos has two extra features under Magic Editor that you won't find on the other two. The first one is Reimagine. Here I can replace the background with anything I want. Like replacing this restaurant with mountains or replace the curtains behind me with an office background. So one point only to Google Photos. The second one is the ability to style your image by changing the sky look with multiple options to choose from or change the scene to a golden hour. So one more point to Google Photos. Next we have a sketch to image which is only available in Samsung Gallery. You can simply draw anything and the AI will generate it for you. I found this feature to be very smart as it understands my bad drawing really well and the results blend nicely with the scene so one point only to Samsung Gallery. The last feature I'm gonna talk about in the transformative AI category is Best Take which is only available in Google Photos. If you have multiple shots of the same group of people or a person the AI will allow you to choose the best face for each person to create a great looking shot where everyone looks their best so one point only to Google Photos. Overall in this category Google Photos takes the lead with a score of 6.5 points followed by Samsung Gallery with 4 points and Apple Photos is by far the most basic offering nothing other than the cleanup feature which doesn't even use generative AI so it ended up with 1.5 points. Next we have some AI features that enhance your photos without transforming them. So let's talk about the image rotation and reframing. In Samsung Gallery you can manually rotate the image and the AI will fill in the missing parts without losing any real estate like in normal crop. It works really well pretty much all the time. Google Photos does the same in addition to reframing the subject but without any manual intervention from the user. All you need to do is to tap auto frame under magic editor to reframe and rotate the image instead of only rotating like Samsung Gallery plus it provides multiple options to choose from. In this case Google Photos offers more so it takes one point versus half a point to Samsung Gallery. Next we have Zoom Enhance available only in Google Photos. You can zoom all the way in on something very far away in your photo and the AI will give you much better results when compared to normal crop. The only downside is it over sharpens human faces but for anything else it works well. So one point only to Google Photos. Now let's move on to memories. Google and Apple Photos offer a way to automatically create memories using AI. In Google Photos you need to choose from a set of different options to build your command and after creation you will be directed to the editor for extra modifications like adding or replacing the photos and videos, adjust the length of individual items 
add or remove transitions, change the music, and more. In contrast, Apple's approach rely on free typing. All you need to do is to type a command prompt with whatever comes in mind and it will create the memory for you with the slightly different editing features. So I will call it a draw between the two and give each one a point. So these are the latest AI features offered by each company when it comes to photos. Now let's talk about videos. Right off the bat, Google Photos got four new AI video editing features as shown now on the screen that I got last month, but unfortunately they are now gone. So I won't be able to include in this comparison. So let's talk about what we have. I will start with the audio editing features. Google Photos has audio magic eraser that can identify different sounds and speakers in your video and give you the option to adjust the volume of each sound or completely mute it. This feature doesn't only offer a great flexibility, but it also works with any video you have no matter when or on which device it's been recorded. In contrast, Apple Photos audio mix is only exclusive to the iPhone 16 Pro models, Plus the video has to be recorded on the same models in order for the feature to work. You get three different presets to choose from that enhances the sound quality not only removing the background noise and based on my testing it delivers great results. Overall I will give the win to Google Photos for offering more control and flexibility while Apple Photos rely on the better microphones of the iPhone 16 Pro to deliver better sound quality plus the number of supported devices now is very limited. While Samsung Gallery doesn't offer any sound enhancing features, but it's the only one that can convert any video into a slow-mo. It uses AI to generate the missing frames to give you a smooth and high quality outcome with consistent performance all the time, so it's the only one that takes the point. By this, I compared all the AI editing features on all apps and that brings us to the final results. As expected, Google Photos is in the lead with 10.5 points, and the closest second is Samsung Gallery with less than half the score of Google Photos, while Apple Photos lags behind with only three points, which makes Google Photos your best AI editing tool. So that was my comparison between Google Photos, Samsung Gallery, and the Apple Photos. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.